Good day. I'm Meg. That's Margaret on the ballot. Robbins. I'm currently in my second year as Ward 1 member on our school committee. Now redistricted to Ward 4, where there is an incumbent already, and much as I dearly wish I could continue in Ward 1, this has sent me to at large. When I first knocked on doors to introduce myself back in 2021, I heard iterations of one question a lot. Why would anyone in their right mind want to be on a school committee in an era of great need where schools juggle so much more than academic learning, budgets are tight, and we have only just emerged from a lockdown pandemic that cost millions of lives and created community schisms? My response then wasn't much different than it is now. I've always been passionate about teaching and learning and in working towards creating a school culture that best grows thoughtful, smart, kind, and capable human beings. A Smith alum, early Ada Comstock scholar with a UMass MED in history, I taught grades eight through 12 humanities. I'm proud to say that I absolutely love teaching middle school eighth graders. My years teaching in a project-based collaborative team setting taught me a lot about student as learner, teacher as coach, and the inherent joy in learning when it's student driven. Over the past two decades, I built on that as a whole school change coach with national nonprofits focusing on creating professional learning communities. I witnessed powerful examples of what schools can be, both at their best and at their worst. It's an amazing experience to be in schools where the whole community feels ownership. We have a talented and dedicated teaching faculty in the city, and I've been actively exploring with them how we support their furthering the vibrant, kind, and caring culture of equitably high expectations we want for all learners in all schools. What would our schools look like if we had that as shared vision? How would we get there? I'm thrilled to be working with Dr. Portia Bonner, who brings a wealth of experience and knowledge and has already begun some of this exploration. Tied to this vision is finally saying no to MCAS, which has served only as an unfunded measure of inequities, and explore far richer ways to know our children are learning. Coupled further is the state's absolute obligation to increase our share of Chapter 70 funding. I spent two days on the Hill with colleagues and teachers knocking on the doors of those who are key to appropriating those monies. Those conversations require a solid plan of follow-up on our part. I'm also our liaison member to the Collaborative for Educational Services Board of Directors, where we have begun a structure to unify our collective voice in advocating for increased funding for our Western Mass districts. As an active member of the much needed exit interview ad hoc committee, we proposed a process in collecting data on why diverse staff leave. I chair our relaunched curriculum committee, and yes, that was me who proposed the supermajority pass vote allocating an additional $250,000 to educator raises in the face of what could have been a post-lockdown teacher exodus to wealthier communities. If our vision includes excellence in faculty and staff, we need to be committed to paying for it. Our district budgetary process and presentation has been challenging to decode. I spent a lot of time trying to unpack FY24 this past spring. It was pretty murky. We need a five to 10 year funding plan now. This includes looking at foundational operating costs in the face of declining enrollment, taking advantage of state and federal underwriting to create green schools that anticipate climate change. It was hot during the first week of school this year, and it's gonna get hotter. I've lived in Northampton for over half a century. My educator spouse, Tom Riddell, is currently the Smith College Interim Dean of the junior class. Our four Simon sons went through a cumulative 50 years in Northampton Public Schools, our two Lawrence Riddell's boys in Amherst. Several of our grandchildren, graduates of Jackson and Leeds, are now at JFK and NHS, the eldest in NHS class of 23 alum. We're proud parents and in-laws to five innovative educators. It's been a never a dull moment these past two years in our school committee. My phone ringing, my message box full, and I hope I've been an active resource for constituents. When we worry about our children, we want to be heard now. In the real world of students, they do not exist in just the space that this year's teacher or that school knows them. We must ensure that they have as seamless a journey across our district as possible, that we foster shared culture, climate, skills, and knowledge that are ably scaffolded as they grow, and that we meet each child where they are, and that we fund those efforts. This is the world of collaboration. It's not a competition. Being on a school committee is not about me, it's about us. Right now, though, it's about you. I welcome your vote to support me in my re-election to our Northampton School Committee on November 7th. Thanks.